Hello everyone. So today I have an amazing workflow in Comfy UI, and this was also requested by a lot of people in the comments. So I decided to uh, bring it here, and uh, this is the in-painting workflow for Flux. But the interesting part is this is not just some normal in-painting uh, workflow. We are using the Painter node. and you'll get all like the workflows and the details about all the models in the description below and the download link so don't worry we are using the same like uh, flux dev uh, quantized gguf model and here you can see obviously the clip loaders the clips and uh, the vae other than that we are not using anything and uh, when you load the workflow if you see any of the nodes which are red as uh, you would know uh, just go to the manager install missing custom nodes and you can install all the missing custom nodes and you can restart that's it you will have everything now let me show you how this works so basically you can upload any image that you want from here for example if you click on this image button you can actually upload any image and you can see here like change canvas size equal image if you say like click on okay so it will automatically become bigger or smaller depending on the uh, image size right and uh, firstly i'll show how to use it and later on i'll explain what is going on in the workflow So there are two ways to use it. First is you just want to mask a certain part. So right click uh, this is for mask this portion. Right click on it and uh, you will see open in mask editor. And you can uh, increase the thickness of brush and you can just mask let's say this whole portion. I am just doing this roughly to show you because I'll be doing something else and save to node. And now what happens is that you can write anything and uh, like start the generation. But remember, when you are using masking, always try to use a slightly higher denoise, but not completely full. Because if you are using the denoise of one, the only thing you need to play with is the denoise. If you are using the denoise of one, it will not take uh, like it will not have the reference of anything here, and it will start generating from scratch, and it would not match with the whole image. Like uh, the blending in would not be smooth. But another interesting thing that you can do is, you can select colors from here, right? So what I'll do is, let's say I'll take. a black color and here the alpha is the transparency so what i like to do is i'll make it 0.9 okay and the brush size is basically the thickness of brush i'll be painting on this image but this is not masking this is real painting i'll do it let's say 50 and i'll start painting so what i'll do is uh i have an idea let's create some kind of a jacket or something so just outline it and you don't have to be like perfect in this you just need to cover the parts basically that's the whole point so just cover the parts and here you can see that uh, i have covered all of these parts right and now what i'll do is i'll change the color to let's say red and keeping everything same i'll just try to create a collar i'll be very rough i'll try to create a collar here and just some buttons now remember when you are playing with the denoise the more the denoise is even if you put the buttons if i increase the denoise slightly it will take the broader elements and not the smaller elements 
so that is one thing and once you complete this what you can do is go to the mask editor and mask this whole thing remember you have to mask all of this so the masking is complete save to known right and now here you can write So you can see I have written a black jacket with red collar and red buttons. And here what I'll do is I'll first decrease the denoising to 0.75 just to see whether in the final generation there is some kind of like transparency or not. Maybe it becomes like very dark yellow or something like that then we'll increase the denoising slightly. So I increased it to 0.8 and with this Actually, I'll uh, tell you what the difference is. The colors which I made in this particular painting are huge, right? So if we are increasing the denoise, it just takes a lump sum idea of what we painted and tries to uh, implement it on the image itself. Now, if I reduce it to 0.75 or 0.7, it will try to keep, for example, you can see the number of buttons here are uh, different. It will try to keep the number of buttons same. But then again, the size of the buttons will be as big and the colors will be as big. So uh, the image won't seem nice. So if you have a very fine drawing or if you are using some kind of a graphic tab or something like that, you can obviously lower the denoising. But if you are randomly putting like I just randomly painted this to give an idea of what kind of outfit I want, which would be very difficult to by doing like uh, by prompting it. So I wanted this and uh, you increase the denoising to at least 0.8 or 0.85 and it will follow the same idea but here you can see which is pretty interesting the collar are like th this big right but uh, here the collars are not that big you can see even the linings and everything are good and uh, uh, you can even see like there are shadows and everything the creases here on the particular uh, this uh, jacket or uh, whatever it is it looks pretty good and uh, so this is something when we increase the denoising strength we do not have to worry about what we uh, painted and whether it is like uh, perfect or not it just takes a random idea that okay the collar needs to be somewhat red and we need buttons and st uh, stuff like that which would be extremely difficult if we were doing it just by the prompts it would get the idea but we would not uh, be able to tell like whether we need half sleeves or what kind of uh, jacket we need or how big the collar should be and uh, other things as well so this is the uh, whole workflow and i'll explain what is going on here right so basically there are inputs so this is the prompt and this is the scheduler let's leave it here from here we are taking two things first is the mask which is this portion remember whenever you change the drawing here you will have to update the mask it kind of gets reset maybe there is some kind of a setting which uh, i don't know but the thing is whenever you change something here it's uh, good to uh, update the mask here here we are actually changing uh, the image to a particular size we are changing the mask to a particular size and now uh, the image is being fed to the in uh, in painting uh, model conditioning here you can see the VA is actually using anything uh, anything everywhere uh, node so it is directly taking it from here it is equivalent of taking the VA from this particular point now this node actually converts it into latent so uh, the image which came here got resized here you can see and keep proportion is true that means that whatever proportion we upload here it is not going to get uh, squished or get cropped it is getting converted into latent and the latent is going in the sample custom advanced sampler so this is first part 
the mask we are taking it from here we are using a gaussian blur mask that means like we are slightly providing gaussian blur to the mask so the edges are not you know the hard edges it is not like that it is getting softened up at the edges this is what we are doing and then again it is going to the inpaint model conditioning node and the latent is going here so with that the original image that the uh, sampler can see is basically this it does not have any idea of what image we actually uploaded so it is very necessary to use the alpha is zero i have personally seen that when the alpha is one like completely black it sometimes doesn't get the idea of what is behind the image and what it should create I like to put it at 0.9 or 0.85 so there is some like uh, imprint of the behind the image so uh, the model can slightly understand like what kind of body is behind it or what kind of creases or what kind of shape would be there and with that uh, we are also providing the mask and you can see one thing when we go to the mask editor the mask opacity by default is not completely black and we need that so uh, like it can understand what is behind it here you can see uh, if i completely increase the opacity and then i also like uh, increase the denoising so it would not even know what is behind this particular portion of the image and it would try to create something random so there would not be any you know like consistency among the other like uh, remaining picture and this part so uh, probably for different images you just need to balance uh, the denoising somehow and it would always be between like 0.75 to 0.85 this is what i have found out would work best so that's the thing and let me know how you felt about this particular workflow and whether you find it easy working or not or if there are any problems or not in the comment section below and uh, yeah thank you